Decided to play some three five no limits. Uh, bought it for one thousand dollars. Interesting hand came early on when I open up pocket eight for twenty dollars, and I believe we get two calls. Three ways to a five of jack nine eight. So bottom set for us. Gonna go ahead and bet this one fifty dollars, something like that. I uh, find one caller. And we go heads up to a turn card, which is a pretty good one. Offsuit five. Shouldn't change anything and allow us to keep betting. And uh, that's what I do. We get called once again, and we are off to a rather favorable river card. It's another eight. So we find quads on the river. I put in another bet, um, but since all the draws have missed, could be a little bit tough to get action uh, from anything other than a jack. But turns out, we do not get any further action. However, we table the quads, and we do get a high hand bonus of $75. And if the quads hold up as the high hand of the hour, that's gonna be another additional $100 coming our way. That is in fact what happened, so bonus $175 for the quads. Not too long after sitting down, we look down at pocket tens in the cutoff and make a standard raise to $20. The button calls and everyone else folds. So we're going heads up to a pretty favorable flop. Again, we flop a set, queen, 10, seven. Two clubs, so I think there is a good number of hands that will continue on this board. Lots of Broadway holdings, lots of blush draws, and uh, I think all small pairs are gonna fold no matter what. So if we size up here, we get value from all those hands, top pairs, the last 10, and you know all those draws as well. The under pairs are gonna fold no matter what. So I bet $35 and my opponent makes the call. Guess what the turn is? It's the last 10, the second instance of quads in um, literally an hour or so. I decided to check it. Uh, I'm not sure if that's super ideal. I think I sort of like betting small again because I think a lot of his drawing hands are gonna continue. Like if we bet $25 or something, we also have the potential to induce a raise out of him, I think, uh, if we do that. River is a three of clubs, so the front door flush comes in. And I think I wanna lead here. I could definitely get behind checking because if he has a flush, he'll bet that. If he has a missed straight draw, then he will either bluff or we won't be able to get value from that anyway. The downside to checking is that we allow him to check and show down uh, with a queen. I decided to go for the lead out, uh, size it up to like 130. Uh, he's gonna have to call with a flush. He might call with a queen. Um, that's really all that he can call with. Uh, to my surprise, he puts in a raise. He puts in the min raise to $260. Um, I think he's got about $250 to $300 behind. So pretty straightforward jam. I go ahead and jam all in and he snap calls. We show and he shows us pocket queens. We find the one outer on the turn for our second quads of the day within an hour of each other. Flashbacks. Flashbacks to a vlog that occurred many moons ago from a casino called the gardens. Unfortunately, under the gun player decides to turn over pocket tens. Turned quads. The old one outer. The exact reverse happens and uh, not exactly the same pot size, unfortunately, but we will take it anyway. What's even better in this instance is that instead of the $75 bonus, we get a $300 bonus for making quads twice within 24 hours here at the poker room at the pepper mill. So, can't complain, an extra $300 plus the additional 100 if it holds up as the high hand of the hour, which it does. So another $400 on top of the pot in this instance and a one outer. Man, yeah, not sure my line was uh, ideal, but I think flopping a set and turning quads is optimal versus top set. Next interesting hand comes when I look down at pocket jacks. Uh, I think we're playing like maybe seven handed here. I make it 20 to go from early position and the button puts in a three bet to $65. I believe we're over 1K effective here. Um, not sure I want to get in that much money pre-flop versus this player. I know not personally who this player is, but I'm aware of him. I know he's kind of a grinder type, so he's not gonna be getting two out of line, I don't think. And I don't think pocket jacks will do too great against uh, his get in range pre flop. So I just decided to flat and take it to the streets, which once again brings us a set. Another set is King Queen Jack two spades. So on this board, I don't think I want to just uh, go ahead and check raise after I check as so many bets. We would be getting it in against pocket kings, pocket queens. Uh, I think he probably would actually pot control with pocket aces here a decent amount. Not positive, but I think he would uh, some percentage. I don't think he would even bet ace-king. That leaves king-queen as another possibility that we can get it in against. And then maybe some uh, some combo draws as well. But I just decided to flat and we see what the turn brings, which you guys will not believe me if it wasn't for the photographic evidence that I will show you at the end of this hand. 
it's another jack. We turned quads for the third time in an hour and a half, maybe, not even. It does put the third spade up on board, um, so the front door flush is completed. I decided to check it over to him again, and good news is that he bets. He bets $125. I decided to flat call here. Um, we're gonna be able to get value uh, on the river from, obviously, pocket kings, pocket queens. Uh, we should be able to get value from all flushes, and uh, I don't wanna you know, shut him down off of those pocket aces, ace, king, king, queen, whatever other hands that exist in his range. So I flat call, we off, we're off to a river card, which is a brick. I check it to him one more time, and he bets $250. He's got about $500 behind at this point, so once again, pretty straightforward jam. I go ahead and jam all in, and uh, he says, I don't see what you could be bluffing with here, and he shows ace eight of spades, um, which again, you can tell he's a pretty good player. You know, we, we don't have any bluffs in our range here. We would never, I don't think, just uh, check jam with a naked jack there, or even a straight, definitely not a straight. I think a jack would be better, but uh, that just wouldn't happen um, because he could still have all the better hands like pocket kings and pocket queens. So yeah, he makes a good fold there for uh, his last $500, but once again, Quad City, population us, an extra $75, which I think it should be the extra $300, um, but for some reason it's not. It's just the $75 once again. But again, if it's gonna hold up for the, uh, the high hint of the hour, that's an additional $100, and uh, sure enough, the quads hold. Three sets of quads in like an hour and a half. Um, just madness happening here at the, po the poker room at the poker mill. Interesting hand comes up when I look down at pocket nines and raise it up to $20 from early position. The button calls and everyone else folds. So heads up to a flop, which you're not gonna believe it, but it comes. King, nine, nine. We make quads for the fourth time in one day, and these sessions aren't even that long. I've probably been playing for like maybe four hours total uh, between the two sessions today. Four sets of quads using two whole cards in four hours. It's absolute madness. I, when I saw this flop come down, I was just like, you gotta be kidding me. I didn't even know what to do anymore. I think leading out is probably ideal in this spot because we're probably not gonna get any value from an under pair regardless once again. There's lots of uh, gut shots that can continue here. 10 jack, queen jack, queen 10, all the flush draws and a king that can continue. So I sort of like a bet. Uh, I decided to check it. At this point I'm pretty tired. Uh, it's late in the day and combine that with just disbelief of what's gone down here uh, with these quads. Um, I like a bet, but I decided to check call here. Turn is the queen of hearts. This time after I check it, he checks it back. So. We don't have nearly as much money in this pot as I would like. Rip is the 10 of diamonds. I lead out, I don't really like that either. I sort of like checking it. He's gonna bet his flushes. He might even find a fold with a straight here now that there's three diamonds on board, although probably not. We'll probably get some value, but either way, we uh, could maybe check raise that and hope he hero calls. He's just gonna flat call with, uh, with a straight. Tough to see what we can even get value from here that we wouldn't be able to uh, check raise, that he wouldn't bet himself. So once again, not really loving my, uh, my line here with quads, but I think my quads game, my quads lines might need a little work. Now I have plenty of hands to review, four in one day. Um, he folds the river, we show it down, and once again, this time we're getting the $300 bonus, plus the additional 100 for the high hand of the hour. So $400 bonus at least to make up for this small pot this time with the, with the quads, the fourth set of quads. Just madness, madness here at Run Up Reno at the Pepper Mill. What else can you say? Uh, I took a photo of each one. I wish <laughs> I wish I had been recording, but uh, wasn't doing any recording uh, in the in the cash games today. Uh